Hi, my name is Jeremy Carter, and today we're going to be installing our X Metal Torch Grill made by T Rex on our 2010 Ford F 150. Let's get started. All right, first step to remove the grill from the front of the truck is to remove the eight 10 millimeter bolts from the front of the hood. Now that we got all the bolts removed, carefully remove the grill from the front of the truck. All right, next what we're gonna do after we get the grill removed from the pickup is uh, set it on a table where you can work on it easily and get able to get to everything. And either, uh, they say to put masking tape on this to protect it, but I find it's easier just to put a blanket down, uh, save a little time. But what you wanna do is uh, when you get to the, the larger vertical uprights here, when you cut them, you wanna cut and leave a half inch um, from the bottom. All right, previously I came through and I made a little dot at a half inch off the bottom of the grill here. And I just grabbed the card that comes in the kit that they give you just for a straight edge. And uh, just give you your half inch. You can always trim more off later, so I want to add a little, you leave a little, a little extra there. Next, I'm going to take a reciprocating saw and I'm going to cut where the, the lines that we marked on the grill. All right, now after we cut our verticals, what we're gonna do is uh, when you come across the mesh area, um, you wanna cut that as close as you can to the uh, outside shell of the, of the cover. And the same as when you come into the center of the grill, the smaller ones, you wanna cut those pretty close too.
All right, next we're going to take our replacement grill and we're going to set it face down on the blanket to protect it. Then you take your factory grill and place it over top of the replacement grill centerpiece. We'll take our J brackets on the edges here and we'll secure those just finger tight for right now. We'll get that to hold in place like this and we'll go ahead put one on this side to hold it in place. And you'll have to adjust this as you go, obviously, to make sure you get it centered the right way, but right now we're just gonna put them on finger tight. All right, next we're gonna put our flange style bra uh, brackets on. You're gonna put them on so that the curve curves down around the lip, just to grab it real well. Go ahead and lay those on first. We'll go through and just finger tighten these nuts that go on here. And we'll go ahead and place them across the bottom of the grill. And we had to notch our grill out. It didn't quite line up to the studs very well on our grill. So we went ahead and notched them out. You can use a razor blade or any kind of small hand cutting tool. Being careful not to get in, in to any electrical items, of course. Now after you get all these fingers tight, you want to flip the grill over. Just take some quick measurements to make sure that you got it uh, in the area as far as it being square inside the, the shell. Basically what you want to do is just measure the distance from the bottom on each end and then from the sides. That would pretty much make sure you got it square before you tighten everything down securely. All right, next we're going to go through and tighten these up with our ratchet. That's eight millimeter nuts. All right, next, after we assembled our grill, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it in the front of the truck, starting with the clips at the top. All right, now we're gonna secure this using the factory bolts that we took out earlier, back in the same locations. All right, next we're gonna do the wiring portion. We're gonna connect the two outside lights together, the reds together and the blacks together with these two wire taps. All right, now we're gonna connect the black wires together. All right, now we're gonna take our two outer lights that we just put together with the two remaining leads and tap into the red and black wire for our main center light. All right, now after you get that complete, just take you some electrical tape, tape these up nice and clean, and these are gonna be your leads. All right, next we're gonna mount our relay to the firewall. And uh, just above the engine computer here, seems to be the best spot for the F-150, just because the battery's here. And all the wire route's good from this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the relay here. It's seven millimeter bolt.
All right, now we got all of our wiring done up top here and we got our wires tucked away. So we're gonna go ahead and install our power lead that goes through our light. We routed this behind the hood installation and we'll bring it up this way here and be a nice tucked application after it's all up in here, like so. Next, we're gonna install the toggle switch with a 5 8 paddle bit. Uh, what you wanna do is try to find you a place where you're not gonna have any interference. And back behind here, there's nothing really back here, so it seems like a pretty good spot. All right, now I ran the wires through the firewall at the grommet on the driver's side. I've picked this location here, it's easy to get to for the switch. So we'll go ahead and wire the switch up with the wires. We'll slide that into a spot. Just like so. We hooked the terminals to the battery. Everything works great. That concludes the installation of this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.